Hi, this is Nathan, and this is a video series on maximum likelihood estimation. But before we get started on that, I want to talk to you guys a bit about logarithms. So, I'm just going to list a couple of key properties you need to know about logarithms. Number one, the natural log of a to the x power is equal to x times natural log of a. Uh, going off of this, you have that the natural log of a times b is equal to natural log of a plus natural log of b. This is even true for more than just a and b. For example, if we have natural log of a times b times c, it's equal to natural log of a plus natural log of b plus natural log of c, right? Or even more generally than this, let's say you have natural log of the product of xi's for i equal 1 to n. Notice, if you've never seen this before, this means product. So, you would have, for example, x1 times x2 times x3 all the way up to xn is product of xi. But the natural log of this is equal to natural log of x1 plus natural log of x2 plus all the way up to natural log of xn, which is equal to the sum from i equals 1 to n of natural log of xi. Now, another really important property for our case is that if you have a and b both greater than zero, a being greater than b is equivalent to natural log of a being greater than natural log of b. I think this is best explained graphically. So this is x and this is ln of x, right? Now at x equals 1, it's the natural log of x is equal to 0, but otherwise it's monotone increasing, right? So if you have, say, this is b and this is a, as you can see, a is greater than b and by monotonicity, natural log of A is greater than natural log of B. But it's also true the other way around. So the natural log of A being greater than the natural log of B implies that A is greater than B. This is also true if you have more than just A or B, right? So if you have A1 is the max of a1, a2 to an, this is equivalent to ln of a1 is the max of ln of a1, ln a2 to ln of an. Again, you can think about it on a graph like this. If you have A1 here, say A2 is here, A3 is here, whatever. It, for A1 being greater than A2 and A2 and A2 and A3 and so on, it's clear that the natural log of A1 is the greatest of all of these natural logs. The other way is true as well. Now the last property of logarithms that we want to talk about today is the derivative of a logarithm. Generally speaking, if you have 
derivative with respect to x of natural log of a function of x. This is equal to the derivative of this function over the function. For example, we have derivative with respect to x of ln of x is equal to 1 over x because the derivative of x is 1 and x goes back into the denominator. Or derivative with respect to, I'll say, theta this time, ln of 1 minus theta is equal to negative 1 over 1 minus theta because derivative of 1 minus theta is negative 1 and 1 minus theta goes into the denominator.